So Arthur Pink says it was God's will that sin should enter the world, for nothing happens save as God has eternally decreed. He went on to say, not only did his omniscient eye see Adam eating of the forbidden fruit, but he decreed beforehand that he should do so. I want you to think about this. God commanded Adam not to eat of the fruit, right? He said, you can eat them all, but that one over there, and you're not supposed to eat that one, right? He commanded Adam not to eat the fruit. Adam disobeyed, and by disobeying, he performed God's will. You say, wait a minute, God's will was don't eat it. I mean, isn't that what it sounds like to you? If you just read Genesis, what do you come up with? God didn't want them to eat the fruit, right? Well, if, if that's what God said don't do, then His will must have been not to do it. Doesn't that make sense? Sounds to me like it makes sense. So, Adam fulfilled God's will by disobeying. Because of doing His will, God's will, God placed Adam and Eve and all their descendants under the curse. Adam disobeyed, but by disobeying, he did what God wanted him to do in the first place, and what God made him do, because he sovereignly decreed that he would do it. But then he punished him, and you and me, okay? and. There's 7 billion people in the world, probably about 90% or 95% of whom are headed straight for hell because it's the will of God. And that's what they say is sovereignty.